I've tried and tested most of what I thought were interesting apps on Setapp and uncovered something that nobody is talking about. Setapp is a software that gives you access to hundreds of expensive Mac apps for a comparably small monthly fee. This is not sponsored, although I wish it was. What I discovered was that it's a good service and usually worth it if you're gonna use many of the apps, not just a few, and if you don't already own many of them. So so if you think that's you, or maybe you already own a setup subscription, then here's the answer to my question of which apps actually make it worth it. Starting things off is the Yoink app, which is a drag and drop utility for Mac that helps move files, apps, and anything that can be dragged to a different location. It adds a shelf where you can place your files, and then when you navigate to your desired destination, you can transfer them there from your shelf. Moving over to Mission Control Plus, which adds a nifty little X to all of your apps and lets you close windows straight from Mission Control. Whereas by default, if you want to close out a Mac app, you have to launch Mission Control, then go to that app and hit Command plus Q. Now the next app is Luminar, and it's a photo editing software that has many AI features and professional presets to improve the look of your photos without having to have a ton of knowledge about photo editing. And iStat Menus is a utility that adds a configurable set of menu bar items that lets you know exactly what's going on inside your MacBook. The app covers a huge range of stats, including a GPU monitor, CPU, memory, and much more. Continuing with the Swish app, which adds swipeable gestures to your Magic Trackpad that lets you move, resize, and position application windows on your MacBook's monitor. It adds two-finger swiping gestures that, after learning, will triple your multitasking abilities with macOS. Now, if you're not so satisfied with the default screenshot utility on Mac, CleanShot X will take it to the extreme by letting you pixelate sensitive information in your screenshots, create screen recording GIFs, capture scrollable content which doesn't fit on your screen and much more. The next app is Display Buddy, which for those of you using an external monitor will adjust your monitor's display settings like brightness and volume directly from your menu bar. What's also useful is the Drop Zone app, which brings everyday productivity shortcuts to your Mac removing the friction of standard operating systems. You can set up your frequently used tasks in the drop zone interface, then simply drag and drop files into the shortcut icons to perform them. Now the To Do app is, well, a To Do app. This versatile Mac task manager lets you pick and choose from a range of tools and options using the ones that suit your workflow best and leaving the others aside. Speaking of managers, Mosaic is a window manager which will let you effortlessly resize and reposition windows on your Mac with a simple drag and drop seamlessly integrated into macOS. You could pair this with the Swish app I showed you earlier to create an impossibly effective window management system. SlidePad could also be a useful utility for that system because it's a lightweight browser that brings the functionality of iPad-style multitasking to your Mac's screen. You can slide in and out to get access to websites or web apps you use, jot down messages, and check up on your to-do lists instantly. Speaking of to-do lists, Do is a simple utility that helps quickly set up reminders and countdown timers on Mac. And best of all, it takes only a few clicks or taps to act on your reminders. Moving over to Bartender, that is a slick utility app and a one-stop menu bar organizer for Mac. It helps to organize, search, and actually use your Mac's menu bar icons while also keeping your desktop tidy. Now the Numi app takes the calculator on Mac to a whole different level. It allows you to describe tasks the natural way and instantly get an accurate answer. Continuing with Repeat, which
which helps you start new habits and most importantly stick to them. It's a habit tracker that tracks your streaks, adds in achievements to the mix and even lets you share your habit progress with others to make you more accountable. Now for those of you that speak more than one language, it's useful to have a translator app at hand. And Mate Translate is honestly more than enough with its quick access from the menu bar and the full offline history of translations. Moving over to Side Notes, which is a sidebar app that covers one side of your Mac's screen with notes. You can hide it whenever you don't want to see it, but it's always there a click away so you can jot down anything from text to code and images. This has been the best Mac apps to install from Setapp and if you're still open-minded about learning something else, here's another video that I'm sure you'll enjoy.